Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on the First Person Shooter series. We've covered several different things in the many videos that have come before this one, such as ammo, health, the saving system, respawning system, mini maps, um, HUD creation, stuff like that. Well, in this one, we're going to create a menu because no game is good without an actual menu. We're going to create the pause menu in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go down here to our widgets and let it save because apparently I hit the wrong button. We're going to go down here to our widgets. We're going to create a new widget. Just quit. And we're going to call this pause, pause menu. Right. We're going to open it up. Now we're not going to have anything super fancy in this. I'm just going to make a couple of buttons here real quick to do a couple of things. Right. We're going to place the centers of these centered. And then I want to put a text field up here. Increase the size of this to, we'll say, 72. Game paused and want to select centered and auto word wrap that way it at least puts it in the center of the thing. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to say our game is paused and we're going to have two buttons that do two different things. Okay. On the first button here, we're going to make this resume game and then the other one's going to be quit game. So I'm just going to throw a text on there. We're going to make it eight. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. We're just going to call this resume. And then we're going to drop another one on here. Make it the same size. And we're going to call this one exit game. Alright, go ahead and save and compile that just to have it. Now Obviously, we're not going to want to click on the text. We're going to want to click on the button portion. So go ahead and select your resume button. Um, if you want to relabel this, you can. You don't have to. I prefer to have all my stuff relabeled or have all my stuff labeled so I know it's what. So under that, we're going to scroll down here to where we see events. And then there's an on clicked. Okay. We click on that. You can delete the tick because we don't need it. And all we're going to do here is remove from parent. Now what this means is we're going to take this widget that's on the screen and we're going to remove it so that nobody can see it anymore. Okay. We are going to set game paused to being false because we don't want it paused anymore. We're actually going to pause the game when we pause the game. How ironic is that? And then we're going to get controller. We want the player controller here. And then we want to set show mouse cursor to false. Because we don't want to we want to show the mouse when we set up the pause menu, but we don't want to show the mouse when we actually click on it and get rid of it. So that's all we have to do for that one. Do the same for the and exit game, do the on click. Now for this one, it's really simple. You drag off, you type quit game. Make sure your quit preference is quit and you're good to go. Okay. So save, compile, and that's all we need to do for that. Close out all of this here because we don't need any of it. Now we need a command that accesses the pause menu for us. So we're going to go up here to edit, go to project settings, we're going to go back to our input here. And under action mappings, just like we did with the reload a couple of videos back, we're going to add a new mapping here. And I'm just going to call it pause. And the key I want for that is going to be keyboard, and I want the P key. Just be, there we are. Okay. Now, if you had for if you were setting this up for a console game. You could add another binding to it and set gamepad and then let's see. 
I want to say it's global pause would be you want to set it to global pause that start button I mean everybody uses the start button for the pause button that's global setting so you would set that in there or if like you wanted something different like you wanted the one of the d-pad controllers or the thumbstick or the the specials you know whatever you wanted to control that you could actually put that in there but we don't need that so we're going to close that out and close that go into our level blueprint and right here below HUD if you want we're going to right click just type in pause you'll see action events pause comes up alright so we type that we just drag off of that we do set game paused this time it's going to be true because we're actually pausing the game we're going to create the widget and what widget are we creating click on the drop down menu select the pause menu that you made the owning player is get player controller because we want the player to be able to control this. We want him to be able to use the mouse to do things on this. So add to viewport. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to drag off the controller. And we're going to set show mouse cursor. Yeah. I actually connected those, but it didn't connect. There we go. And set that to true. So now what that'll do is allow us to show the pause menu when we press the P key. And yes, I like caps for some reason. But, so now we can just drag that wherever we want it. So go ahead and go ahead and compile. We hit play. We have our play. We hit the pause. We get that. Notice we can't do anything in the background. Our game pause and everything else is kind of all centered but that's okay the mouse cursor is here we can mouse over the buttons if I click resume we go back in we can actually move around I hit the pause button again we hit exit game and we're good to go now um, one thing I want to point out real quick one thing about it is when we hit the pause key the first time notice that we don't have control over this I have to click somewhere and then I get control. Uh, for some reason, that's a issue with some of the stuff I've had. From time to time, it works. And sometimes it doesn't work. So what I have found to work really well with that, and I didn't mean to hit the save button. I actually meant to hit the level blueprint button. I'm just going to stop that. It's going to stop. And I might have just froze it. I think I did freeze it. All right. Well, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back while I unfreeze it. All right, I'm back. Sorry for that long pause there. It was not wanting to cooperate with me properly. So, well, as I was saying, the thing that we, the way we fix that, okay, is we go back into our level blueprint, and on the end of that there, we just do a simple set game, or not... It's set input to UI only. Okay, the widget in focus is that. The target in focus is the player controller. All right, and then to give control back to the player once we come out of that, in the pause menu at the end of the resume button command, we drag off. We do another input and we do game mode only and then the target is the player controller I'd save file that and then when we play it we hit pause you can see when I mouse over it we have immediate control resume we pause I still have immediate control I can hit exit and then we're done and that's a simple pause menu um, if you wanted to do anything such as saving, loading, uh, anything like that, you'd be able to do that in there as well. You would just make the the menu for it, make the the button for it. Come in here when you if you wanted to do the saving, you would create a save game object, cast to the save value stuff that you have, save whatever values you want to have. Make sure you also cast to the player so you can get the values that you're saving just like we did with the checkpoint thing 
So you could pretty much just do this. You'd go here, programs, checkpoint. You could grab all of this here. All right. Select it. Take it over to the pause menu. Plug it in over here and link it with the save file, with the save setup that you have right, right here. You can just take all of that right there. And then just take all that over, click this, that way if you want to save while you're playing, you can click save. You don't even have to save this checkpoint here. It will, if some games don't have that, you'll just say you start either at the play start or the last checkpoint. Sometimes you may have to backpedal a little bit because of it, but you know, some games it's not a bad thing. So that'll be it for this tutorial series, and I shall return in the next one, and we're going to cover level transition. Sounds like fun, I know. Alright, see you soon.